what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode a New York Comic Con episode of Junkyard Breaks so this year I went this is my I think ninth year going to Comic Con uh, this year I went uh, Thursday Friday and uh, Sunday with my kid um, so Thursday was actually really nice. Um, I don't have any footage of the show. I kind of just went in with a backpack and uh, my cell phone, but I didn't take any uh, pictures or footage. The pictures I took were not great. Um, but here's here's how my con went. So as you guys know, I've spent an entire year at the flea market um, selling off comics and, and sports cards to get something special. So. That was my goal. I had um, uh, I had a goal to get a one of two comics. I wanted to go there on Thursday by myself, price those comics, and see if I if if I could even get them. Um, I had uh, the money saved, and I was going to go in with cash and um, see what I can get. So I'm not going to tell you what those titles are yet, but I'm going to tell you what happened Thursday. So Thursday I went in, I bought a couple books. Um, I bought this. We're gonna go to the lower screen now. I bought this. This is Batman 126. This is the first appearance of Firefly. Um, it's got a hole there, a hole there, and I think it's got a hole there. Um, it's only the cover. First appearance of Firefly. I only paid 30 bucks for this. I said, why not? Uh, I don't care. Even if it comes back low grade, it's still kind of cool. First appearance of Firefly. Nice Batwoman cover too. Batgirl. Batgirl? No. Batwoman. Batwoman. Yeah, Batwoman. And next, I got another Darth Maul number two. Um, first appearance of Cad Bane. This is like my fourth or fifth of these. High grade, nine six nine eight. I'll I'll send this to CGC and get it graded. Um, but uh, I have, um, I have so much uh, hope in this book. Like the, the, uh, this book is gonna skyrocket as soon as Cad Bane and that voice of his. Man, I hope they get that voice actor. Uh, if he appears in Book of uh, Boba Fett, this book is gonna take off, and it's still so cheap. Uh, marked eighty, I paid sixty-five. Um, a decent price for this, and um, I'm still gonna buy more if I see these out in the wild for. Um, raw, 50 bucks or less, I, I'll buy these all day long. I think this book's going to be huge. So, um, what else do I do? So when I go to Comic-Con, um, I always look for sketch cards. Sketch cards is my thing. One year, one video, I'm going to go over my entire sketch card collection. These aren't the sketch cards that are inserted in like Topps packs or Marvel Masterpieces or anything like that. I want the... I want a blank card from an artist that they did um, without any of that other stuff. So typically I spend between uh, 10 and $40 for a good sketch card, um, but it's just a piece of the artist. It's something, uh, it's an original piece of artwork in a card format which displays really nicely. And um, so this is what I got. I want to make sure I got the. Uh the uh, business cards with the right people. So this looks like it's from Sid Venbly. That's the uh, Animaniacs. That's a really cool card. Uh, this was the same guy. I don't think I got his name. He did sign the back of him. Um, but I got a Blanca and uh, Rafa uh, Raphael. Both really cool. And this, this is the same guy, so I, here's his card. This is Alex Kotkin. I have gone to his table many times. His, he's got a great album of uh, original sketch cards, and I got a few from him. So I got this Professor X and the original Mutants. This Batman and Batgirl. Uh, Storm Shadow. That one's really cool. Shaggy and Scooby. That one's cool. These were um, 30 each. Nice Cobra Commander. This is Apollo Creed. This one's really cool. 
And did I get another one from him? No, that's it. So that's his that's his card, that's his info. Really nice guy, cool guys at that table. Check out his stuff. I'm sure you can go on his um his website and buy sketch cards or you certainly can reach out to him and buy them. I got this nice Morbius. That one's really cool. There's another card in here too from a different artist. I think this was the uh oh no. It's Sonic. It's kinda cool. And this is uh J Horror. I think that's the grudge. It's really cool. That's the artist. But Sean MacArthur was one of them. Don't know which one. But anyway. So that's what I got. Those are the sketch cards that I got this year. Really cool ones. What do you guys think? Oops. One video soon, I'll go over my entire sketch card collection and show you. I have a bunch of them down there. It must be like almost 100 now. Um, but they're cool. Like I said, this is a little piece of the artist. Um, nice little... You know, nice little pieces of artwork. I can't afford the big comic pieces, the big, you know, $4,000 comic pieces. So this is what I get. I get sketch cards. Anyway, so that's that. Um, so I did go in Friday with my friends. Um, we ch checked out Anthony's uh, comic art page, or comic art uh, booth. And um, we were going through the books there. So my friend Jimmy is a big Isad Ribic fan and so we were going through a bunch of his albums and I came across something that I think if you guys follow me on Instagram you already know what I'm going to show you but um it was an original sketch where do I have it an original sketch of this is like a preliminary sketch of Black Panther 2 first appearance of Shuri uh it was 85 bucks uh, heck yeah um, but this is like his first concept sketch of the cover of Black Panther 2. This is the first appearance of Shuri right here. This is the sketch. This is really cool. I mean, I think um, I think this is way more special than $85. I, I mean, this is a, an important comic um, just because of Shuri. Uh, she may be Black Panther. She has already been Black Panther in the comics, but she may be in the movies. And this is the book that started it all. So that's the first appearance of uh, Shuri right there in sketch form from the original artist, Saad Rubik. So, all right, now for the big boy. So I went into Comic-Con this year um, with shoebox full of cash. Um, wanting to get one of two books. Um, Amazing Fantasy 15, First Appearance of Spider-Man, or Incredible Hulk number one. Two of my favorite characters growing up, uh, the Hulk and Spider-Man. I wanted to get one or the other. Uh, first booth I went to had a 2.5 Hulk and a 1.5 Incredible Hulk. No Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, most of them were autographed by, by Stan Lee, which I think destroys the book personally and that's my personal opinion I think anybody who signs a book destroys the book um, so when I see like Stan Lee on uh, X-Men number one it breaks my heart it really does I don't care if he wrote it or not he he just wrote magic marker on an iconic book and destroyed it that's my opinion um, so nothing a lot of um, restored uh, there was a couple amazing fantasy 15s two um, were three O's uh, and one was a one five. They were asking like thirty eight thousand dollars for it. Um, there was a, a point five, an ungraded. Um, it was complete and it was in trouble. Um, it would have cost another, I think, five or six hundred to have it graded. So it, it was it was a good amount of money to spend there, and it still needed an investment. And then one of the last booths I went to, he had a point five Amazing Fantasy that he was selling and he had a 3.0 restored. Um, I did not want restored, I didn't even want qualified, so no restored, no qualified, I didn't want a green label. Nobody likes seeing the green label. So anyway, um, I had a couple of decisions to make. I did have, so the books, some of the books were in my, my range. 
Um, and I knew that um, because I was talking cash and not credit card, I did have some some um, power to, to talk some of them down at least to get uh, get them off their price with cash. So I did it. I uh, with with the help of all of you guys, um, the guys have been coming to my booth, and you know who you are, uh, Christian, Joe, Vic, uh, David. Mark, Howie, uh, Jimmy, Jason, I mean, you guys have all helped me. You guys have been buying stuff from me all year um, and since April. And and this is it. This is what I was able to get. I wanted this book so bad. I think this was the last chance I would have ever had to get this book. It's getting so expensive now that um, I don't think I would have ever been able to see or be able to buy this book ever in my entire life. Like, this was it. This was my last chance to get this book because... um, It's getting too expensive now. So, I did it. And you guys helped me. Um, I got an Amazing Fantasy 50, and I don't even care that it's incomplete. I don't care that it's a .5, because it's the only way I was getting this book. And uh, it's it's pretty incredible. So, um, (laughs) I wish it wasn't incomplete, because it could use a press... Uh, and I would be happy to do it, but it would only come back a point five. It's missing, um, um, it's missing a page, and it does affect the story. But that's okay. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is this is the book I've wanted since I was a kid, or since I started collecting. Um, I I kind of I grew up reading. Uh, amazing! I'm uh, reading Spider-Man, Hulk, and uh, Power Man and Iron Fist were my three books that I read a lot of. I didn't really read DC, mostly Marvel stuff. Um, but you can see pictures of me when I was a kid. My birthday cake was Spider-Man. My first coloring book was Spider-Man. Like, I love this character. I can't believe I have this. Um, it's amazing. So, anyway, thank you all. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Because, um, you know, you guys coming to my booth every Saturday and and talking with me. And, uh, you know, I met some pretty cool people and made some pretty good friends. I I couldn't have done this without you. So, thank you. Um, That's it. I forgot some stuff. I forgot that I got this. This beautiful painting, let's get that in there, for my friend Christian. He had a booth at Comic-Con this year. He's one of my regulars at my booth in uh, Meadowlands. And uh, I got this off of him. My son, his is already hanging up, otherwise I'd take a picture of it. Um, But, um, yeah, I got this from my friend Christian. This is his information. He's a really talented artist. Uh, There you go. I'll do it here. And there's his information if you ever want to contact him. He's a super talented dude, great artist, um, super awesome guy. Like, you can't, you know, it's amazing to meet people like this. And uh, Christian is, uh, he's a pure, pure dude. Um, And, uh, yeah, he's good to me, good to my son. I'm good to him at the booth. Like, it's a, we got a good, good thing going, so... Um, Christian, thank you very much, brother. And uh, I'm glad you had a good con. You had a you had a pretty hopping booth, so congratulations. On top of that, I got three shirts at Comic Con this year. I love I love these. These are cool. This one's called the Bodega shirt. So it's like all the the thank you thank you bags. This one is the tattoo shirt so all the staff are wearing this we got the sword and the pizza 
And we got the tattoo New York Comic Con back. And I got this one. Which I thought was pretty cool. New York fucking Comic Con. Good time this year. Thank you everybody again. And I will see you next time.